I'll just get Harriet on this and we'll have down the docks, eh? Morning. Oh. Hiya. Nice, thank you. Lovely. Yeah. Hi, kettle on? Yeah, it will be if you put it on. I'm a research Jimmy, not your secretary. Not today, eh, Harriet? I've just picked up a good one. Oh, great, what? Container theft, Finley docks, so I'll need all the usual checks, please. Trillin, another day surfing the internet? Oh, don't worry, you won't be on the computer all the time. Why, where am I going? Over there, to make the tea. I'd love a cup. Tea's for full-time employees and clients only, Vinny. You should be nice to me, Harriet. I'm just about to do you a favour. Why? You retiring? <laughs> Can I talk to you about my nose job now, Gov, please? Yeah, all right. You having a nose job done, Vinny? No. What's wrong with my nose? Oh, nothing. It's your old face that needs doing. Very funny. So what's this nose job, then? Ah, uh, it's a little job Vinny's sorting for me. That's our man. Jake Harris. Mm. What's he claiming for? I got knocked off his bark a couple of months ago. He's claiming £17,000 for losing his sense of smell and taste. Seventeen? Well, that's a bit steep. Not if you're a chef. Listen, he's Jake the fate, I'm telling you. Which reminds me, can I borrow Harriet on this one, please, Gav? Yeah, if she wants. And as long as it's not dangerous. Oh, I don't mind. As long as it gets me out of this office. Yeah, OK. But I still need the info on the docks. Yeah, yeah, you'll get it. Do I get me a cup of tea now? Push your Volvo. Sally got it. Mine, I think. I'm surprised she let you keep your boat. Mm -hmm. She wasn't going to. I put it down as my permanent address. Good. Glad to know you're thinking again. I didn't know you cared. Don't start. I must be the only man stuck in a love triangle without any love. We both love you, Jimmy. Sex you're talking about. Great. Your place or mine? <laughs> in your dreams. <laughs> Adam, nice of you to pop by. Yeah, sorry, got caught up. You know what it's like. Still, Frank's always reliably late, so at least I'm not last. Wrong. Oh, is he around then? No, he's off the case. I've brought Jimmy Griffin in for this one. Excellent. James, scraping the barrel again, are we? Oh, you need talk. Surprised you got the front to show your face around here. Why's that? Oh, it might have escaped your notice, Adam, old boy, but you're the head of security for OLT. Now, losing one container's unfortunate. Two's careless, but three? Bye-bye, <laughs> Adam time. Like circling vultures, look at them. The other two containers were stolen in Rotterdam, as you well know. This is the first on my batch, and the last if I have anything to do with it. Don't worry, Adam. We'll save your skin. Oh, boys at play. Well, shall we get on? Yeah. Did you dub it for Prince, Brian? Ooh, gosh, no, I never thought of that. Just asking. Uh, it's clean. Professional stealing to order by the looks of it. Well, this could be anywhere between here and Yokohama. It's my guess, they're local. Go on then, Sherlock. Amaze us. Well, you can hardly do a runner in a container wagon, can you? So it could still be here? Yeah, it might be. It might be better to hide a container than a container port. So all we have to do is search every unit in the port area. There's over 40,000 containers here. Joke, Brian. Just saying they're local. So you think it's an inside job then? Oh, I think it's possible. Yes, well, that cuts us down to a mere, what, 4,000 dock workers. Not if we start with a night shift. What about the crane driver? Tommy Shawcross. He's an unlikely candidate, to be honest. Well, that's the best sort. 
He's in hospital. You won't be able to get near him yet. I suppose I could see Stuart Clifton again. Doc supervisor. Any reason? Just moved back here from Rotterdam. Who says he's useless? Why do you want me to see him in here? Well, he can be a bit of a live wire canal, Stuart. He might be a bit more cooperative with the uniform around. Have you got any previous? Bit of driving, taken away as a kid. Talking of things that should be taken away. All right, lads. Just back from your lodge meeting, on here. Frank! I was hoping to see you. Well, I can't say the feeling's mutual. I need to borrow the files from those two Rotterdam container thefts that you handle for OLT. Haven't you sold it yet in Super Sleuth? I'll be in my office if you want to make an appointment. Will that be the office at the Crown or the Blue Angel, Frank? <laughs> They're like a second opinion, Stuart. There's the inspector he is in on it. I've given him a statement. Why don't you just read that? I like the personal touch. You've dragged me in out of bed here. I'm a knight. Look, if you're not accepting my statement, you can do this through the union. I'm really glad you were here, Brian. You opened up like a clam. I see. Well, how bad is he? Bad enough. You won't be talking to him for a while, that's for sure. His wife shouldn't really be in here, but I feel a bit sorry for her. What's wrong with her? She had a hip replacement a couple of years back, but it didn't work. She's on a list for another one, but you know what it's like nowadays. Blimey. They're not having much luck then. A bit like you then, eh? <laughs> You know very well that I'm not supposed to talk to anyone but the police. Oh, come on, a shock. I'm still the same bloke. No, you're not. I'm seeing you for old time's sake, but you're not a policeman anymore. From now on, if I have anything to say, it'll be via Inspector Halliwell. I'm sorry, mate. Hospital rules. Hi. Sally, stop pretending I'm not here, will you? It's just bloody childish. Jimmy, has it ever occurred to you that I just might not want to see you? No. If I thought that, I might as well give up completely. Why are you here, then? I'm on a case. I've got another job. Good. Is this one going to pay out? Rock solid. Guaranteed. Because it's from Gabby? Yeah. I was right, then. She is paying for it nowadays. I don't believe it. You've done it again. What? I come here to give you some good news, and you, you, you... What? You turn it into another row. It's been two years. When are you going to give me a break, eh? I'll tell you when. When I stop remembering the smell of her perfume on your clothes. When I stop kicking myself for believing your lies. Stop feeling dirty. And then maybe a little longer. I'm still in with a chance then, eh? Yeah. Griffin, it's Godzilla here. Alex! An unexpected surprise. No, it's not. I want you in my office 9 a.m. tomorrow. Oh, what's up? The goalposts have moved. The situation is that our villains have been in touch via a legal firm called Bruders in Amsterdam. They want one million cash in return for these six million, what's the name, dat tape things. So that means, according to my arithmetic, Claudette, that I can save you and your fellow underwriters two million sterling. Or we could lose another million on a ransom and maybe get nothing back. Or we'll fork out three million and definitely get nothing back. I take it you all think this is a good idea. Well, personally, I'd like to have a crack at these people. But it depends if you want to deal with criminals. I deal with brokers every day, Mr Griffin. It's much the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Point taken. What about the police, Inspector? Officially, I'd have to caution you against dealing with any ransom demand. 
And what about unofficially? It's your money. Does that mean we can expect some help from you people for a change? I'll do my best. Staggers back in amazement. And I take it as read that the OLT won't mind, Adam? Not if our customers get their goods back. Exactly. Your call, guys. Fine. We'll run with it for a week. See what happens. Nice, Claude. Eh? We'll be in touch with your office, sir. I take it that's him. Was him. Strictly business now. Yeah, right. I'll tell you what, Jimbo. You save me two million on this one, and I'll have all that graffiti about you and Gab's cleaned off the gent's bog. And if you can hang on to the ransom money for me, I might even stop writing it. <laughs> Excuse me, gents. No. 